Hi, folks, and welcome to Tech TV Pro from Soteria Technology Solutions, where we answer your emails about tech support. I'm Dave Rapor, and with me, as always, is Bill, the Bill Guy Ramsey. How you doing today, Bill? I'm hungry. Oh, my goodness. It's getting that time of day, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think so. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am hungry. I'm... Well, I won't ask you a question about food then. <laughs> oh, good. How about I that? I appreciate that. I've got a question for you, though. <laughs> sure. I have heard that the modern uh, phone smartphone has more computing power than an Apollo spaceship. Is that true? That cannot possibly, <laughs> that cannot possibly be it true. It is absolutely true. Really? And, you know, it, it's thousands of times more powerful or millions Not of times. Not even just it's, a little. It's, no, no, thousands it's insanely, insanely more powerful oh, my goodness. than what we had. You know, um, we went to the moon on, I don't know, like 64K of RAM or something. Oh, it was just teeny tiny word. thing. I mean, your average game console has way more power wow. <laughs> than, wow. than what we took to the moon. We think so, we're smart today, but maybe they were smarter yeah, then. Yeah, they had to make uh, good use of, of, uh, of what they had. That's oh, for my sure. goodness. Now, would your iPhone take you to the moon? Firstly, I would never in a million years use an iPhone. <laughs> Let's just be very clear about that. <laughs> I use an iPhone, folks. I, I do right. not. Would not. No, thank you. Um, so I have a Google Pixel, and yeah, I'm, yes. I'm, now I'm not, you know, hey, and I'm uh, gonna hold it up, and it's gonna take me there. Well, will your could Google power, Pixel take you to the moon? Yeah, could it? Could it power that lunar lander? Yeah, yeah it, it has more than enough computing power and memory and storage to do that. Well, I think that's enough on this topic. <laughs> Let's get to the email, shall okay, we? Sure. All right. Melvin from Sarasota, Florida, asks, "What is MFA?" And does it do a good job of protecting me against cybersecurity attacks? MFA, what's that stand for? That is multi-factor authentication. Yeah. So it's uh, you hear it called multi-factor, or used to be really known as two FA, two-factor authentication. I but, see. Yes. But you know we say multi-factor now because there could be more than two ah, two levels. Sure. But if you go off of the old. 2FA. Mm -hmm. um, it was something you have and something you know. Yes. And so the something you know is your password. Yes. So you know what that is. Yes, yes. And something you have could be <clears throat> your phone uh -huh. and it yes. texts you yes. a number. And yes. so you have that. Or it could be an app or it could be, you used to have the RSA keys, mm, mm. you know, that to get your bank account would generate a new number every few seconds and <clears throat> you had to put in that number. Yes. So something you knew, your password and something yes. you have. Mm -hmm. So with the idea being that an attacker mm -hmm. may be able to gain access to something you know, like they may have uh, a your email address and your email password. Right. Right. But they don't have something you have. Yes. So they could put yes. in your password and then they were presented with a prompt for the something you have, which and is a it number, stops them and they right can't, there. they can't get past that. Ah, that's yes. that's the idea behind multi-factor authentication. Is it important? It is absolutely important. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'll give you an example of uh, one of our our partners mm -hmm. that didn't want multi-factor authentication, mm -hmm. and now they have it. And it's becoming a, a requirement is if it? you get cybersecurity insurance. Yeah. Oh, really? You, they require a, a lot of things now, and multi-factor yes. authentication is one of those. Yes. But um, and they lost $193,000 because somebody had had fished yes. the the one of the people in the finance department. Yes, and we've talked about gained access. before. That's so correct, yeah. That they before. got access to their email, and they yes. sat in their email huh. for a couple of months. What do you learning. mean by sat? They're they just, just watched. It? Are not they doing anything. Not doing just anything. Observe. They're watching and they're learning and they're oh, studying and they goodness. figured out who the, some of their landlords were. Wow. And they were able to replicate one of those landlords and get them to change where they were wiring their, their rent payments. Oh, no. And yeah, and uh, it was $193,000. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So, and how would uh, multi-factor authentication have uh, stopped that? So once that person got fished and yes. they have the email address and the password, mm -hmm. once they tried to gain access, they would pre be presented with a prompt of something you know or something you have. Right, right. They don't have that. So right. they wouldn't be able to gain access into that system. Yes. Um, so they just never would have gotten in. And, and I suspect that multi-factor authentication is less expensive than $193,000. Yeah. And that's small. We've had, we had a, a customer that uh, somebody, same thing, they got, they got fished and fell prey to that. Yes. And then, um, you know, they were trying to pull off a $250,000 wire. Unfortunately, the bank 
called and said, are you, are you sure you want to do this? And the owner was oh. like, well, do what? What are you talking about? Oh, and wow. <laughs> so wow. they yeah. were talking with the scammer via email, not realizing. It's a dangerous place out there today so in it computer land, isn't very it? Very much is. All right, everybody get multi-factor authentication. Hey, Melvin, get that right now today. Thanks, Melvin, for a great question. And Bill, thanks as always for a great answer. Now, if you've got a great question for us or any kind of question for us, just email us at techtvpro at heysoteria.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.